In today's sermon, we're talking about the unconditional love of the Lord. You see, someone who has unconditional love in their soul received that unconditional love from their father or their mother of origin. But sometimes one parent can't control that. In other words, they can't really do it. They do it, but they don't do it, whereas another parent can do it. When my own son, my own Japanese son, was having challenges in schools because ESL teachers thought that he, as a Japanese boy, was like any other child of a bicultural, bilingual family. They completely lied to themselves. Japanese culture is nothing like Chinese culture anymore. Japanese culture is definitely different than Hispanic types of thinking. You see, he could connect himself with other intelligent people, but at some point they got tired of his childish behavior. He did have some special needs once he got here, but he always had those special needs that were sort of invisible in his own country. Once we were here, we took him to a lot of places to be evaluated as any parent would, to just check to make sure everything was functioning okay. He definitely had some ODD, he definitely had some ADHD, he definitely had some, occasionally, OCD probably, but generally speaking, he was EH and he had challenges with emotional management. Over the course of time, I worked with him a great deal. And the things that I always said to him as a father in that home was, look, we've put you through the tough love program, which we did, we really did. You're here, you have a chance to start over with us as your parents, as your folks, as the folks that provide for you food, shelter, warmth, love, clothing. But when you're an adult, when you're out there in the real world, when it's your turn to be in charge completely of you, you are fully responsible for you. But until that time of you being fully responsible for you, I'm going to help you to make better decisions. And when you don't make a good decision, people don't like it. 